Hey, Tony Gaskins here. You know, it's one thing I know to be true that we don't oftentimes address, and that is that toxic relationships are like a drug. And I saw this personally because, and I want you to think about this, and first identify what a toxic relationship is. So when you are in a toxic relationship, you spend every day or every other day in a state of anxiety or stress or worry. And don't take this too literal when I say every other day. It may be every two days, every three days, but every week you are dealing with another argument. Argument like yelling or furniture moving, or slamming doors, or storming off, or going to bed mad. Another argument, or disagreement, not, not just disagreement, a argument that blows up, or a fight that may get physical, or verbally violent. You're dealing with this every week, every other day, every two days, and this is like what you would begin to call a constant thing. It is reoccurring over and over. In a toxic relationship, you don't feel happy. You feel scared. You feel worried. You feel like you're walking on eggshells. You're waiting for the next blow up, the next fallout. In a toxic relationship, during the good times, like let's say you have some times, that you're laughing and you're joking and things are going good, you go on a vacation or you go on a date or Netflix and chill, you are afraid to let it all go. You're afraid to, to just let go and just relax and to get comfortable in that space because you are anticipating the next time it goes left. So I want you to understand that toxic relationships it is like a constant feeling every relationship has disagreements or what you may call arguments let's not get into semantics here but every relationship you're going to have some bumps in the road now when you find yourself going through the same draining toxic tiring situations over and over and over again, you are in a toxic relationship. And that toxic relationship, it becomes like a drug. So I say this to say, I've seen people in toxic relationships who behave the same way as people who are on hard narcotic addictive drugs the same way just sporadic um, irrational accusatory confrontational just victimizing always the victim argumentative just downright rude bitter condescending, nasty. Like I've seen drug addicts behave the same way as a man or woman in a toxic relationship. And the thing is, is typically, well, not typically, but sometimes the person who is in the toxic relationship doesn't behave that way with their partner. They behave that way with their children, with their siblings, with their parents, with their friends, to where they are attacking them. It's the kick the cat syndrome, where the man gets onto the woman, the woman gets onto the boy, the son, the son goes and kicks the cat. And the cat is like, whoa, what in the world did I do? You know, what? what why are you kicking me? And the cat doesn't even realize that the son's angry because his mom just chewed him out. The son doesn't realize the mom is angry because dad chewed her out. And the mom doesn't realize that dad is angry because the world chewing him out. 
and he is in process and his feeling everything flows from the head so i want you to think about this and i want you to identify if you've been in a toxic relationship or if you are in a toxic relationship because if you are in a toxic relationship what is the definition of toxic maybe i can look it up right now and I want you to understand this because, and it may not relate exactly, poisonous. First definition is poisonous. So what do toxins do in your body? They poison you. So what does a toxic relationship do to your heart? It poisons it. And what does a poisoned heart do to you? It kills you. So it will slowly but surely break you down. Your immune system will break down. Your health will get bad. Your mental state will break down. Your emotional state will break down. Your spiritual state will break down. All of that will affect your physical state and you will become physically sick over and over again from being in this toxic relationship. You will have a broken heart and you will suffer from a broken heart if you are in a toxic relationship so in this space what happens is you have to have a mind shift you have to change what you're saying to yourself you have to change the way you're talking to yourself and stop saying things to yourself like you know I know it can work out I know that he can change or she can change. I, I know that we're meant to be. I know this is my soulmate. You know, we've come so far. It's been so long. It used to be worse. You know, I feel like it's getting better. The good times are so amazing, but the bad times are so bad. But I feel like the good outweighs the bad. Stop saying that to yourself. And then going further and saying, if I leave this, then what? What's gonna be different? this is the second one or the third one in a row that's turned out like this so this must be what relationships are this is what i'm attracted to i'm not attracted to the nice guy to the good guy i'm too tough for that i'll run all over him i'll devour him i'll chew him and spit him out i need a tough man i need this type of man stop lying to yourself oh he's a good heart he he has a good heart he just was raised in a rough area he didn't know his dad. He didn't know his mom. You know, he just went through so much in his life. He watched his brother get killed. He watched his mom get killed. He watched his dad get killed. His best friend got shot right in front of him. You know, he was abused when he was young, you know, and you're making all of these excuses for him instead of him making him be accountable to healing from his past pain so it is that man's job or that woman's job if she is the toxic one to do the work to heal to go to therapy identify what they're dealing with what they're struggling with learn from that heal begin the growth process then go to coaching and learn how to turn the pain into purpose, how to birth something from it, a nonprofit organization, a book, a new company, a clothing line, learn how to set goals, learn how to make a plan with their life coach. But it is his or her duty to do the work. Yes, you may call yourself a empath. Yes, you may call yourself a nurturer. Yes, you may have all these fancy names for who you are and what you do and why you're here, but you are lying to yourself if you are allowing yourself to be in a toxic relationship, suffering at the hands of verbal or physical or mental or emotional abuse. You're lying to yourself and you are cheating yourself out of real love i have real love so i can attest to the fact that it is real my wife and i do not argue we disagree 
but we don't yell and scream and curse and storm away and go to bed mad. We have learned how to communicate, how to respect one another, how to love one another, and how to work through our differences through honest, open, and real, and healthy communication. So listen, do not buy the lie that every relationship is gonna be knocked down, drag out, fussing, fighting, yelling, screaming, cursing, and that if you're not arguing, if you're not fighting, that it's not real. Do not buy that lie. That is a lie from the pit to deceive you and to make you settle. Real love does exist. Healthy relationships do exist. And you can have a pain-free, happy, healthy, and whole relationship. I'm living it. I'm telling you, and I come from toxic relationships. I come from the worst and being the worst to having a healthy and whole relationship. Stop settling. Stop believing the lies. And you know, if you have not gotten my book, Make It Work, I got another copy right here. Make sure you go to get it, your favorite bookstore, get it online, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Target, Walmart, whatever. Make sure you read this. It's 22 lessons. This actually could have been broken down into three books, so it's a whole lot. So you got to read it three times. If you don't like reading, then um, the Audible, the audio version is available, and you can listen to it on your commutes to and from work or to and from the gym, wherever, going to sleep with it, playing it when you're working out, what have you. So the audio version is available as well. So it's on ebook, hardback. Um, the paperback comes out in January 2020. So any way you want to consume it is there for you. And this is a real digest of the breakdown of a healthy relationship, the makings and the workings of a healthy relationship from real life experience, not just some fairy tale. Hey, Tony Gaskins here. Stop settling. Set new standards. Get what you deserve from life and from love and from business. And God bless, we'll talk soon.